Hi guys, and welcome back to Reads Readers with your host, Clinton Reed Britton. And today, I'm going to bring with you, as the title suggests, this is my June TBR, my TBR for Cabin Chewy, for Camp Seasonathon, and partially some of my ideas that I will be reading for excuse me, for, um, Pegasaur Ass for Pride. And then I have a couple of others that if I can get to these, cool if not cool. And then I have some buddy reads as well. So we'll just get into all of this. I also have, at the end, I'll give you what I'm doing for TBR Knockout, but I will not be doing Buzzword. I could not find any books with the word other that I wanted to read. Wait, I want to check one book. Never mind. This is collection, not other. Damn. Whatever. Okay, my goal for... Yes, we have Together and Bear joining us again. Because Together and Bear will be joining us for majority of the videos in June. Because it's... Pride Month. So, with all the Pride events we'll be doing, let us see what we actually get read in the month of June. <laughs> but no, if you do not know what Camp Seasonathon or Pegasaur Ass for Pride is, I will link the announcements to both down below. Camp Seasonathon, this is one of our annual Seasonathons. Where we do four a year, myself, Mel from Completely Melanie, and Kaylani from Kaylani Simply Me host seasonal readathons. And Camp Seasonathon is kind of a. This is our. where we. Oh, what's the word? This is our competition readathon. There we go. This is where we pit each other up against each other, and we have some gay old fun. At least, I have some gay old fun. I don't know about them, but I will be. But, you have three cabins. Go check out their announcements. We'll be linked down below. That way you can go decide which team you want to be on. We all have some amazing prompts. And here at Compachewer... I will tell you what I'm reading for each and every prompt. But let's get into Camp Chewy. Or Cabin Chewy. And I hope you guys join us. Because Chewy's very lonely. And would love some more friends. So, I hope you guys join us. So, my first prompt is Wolf's Bite. Just to read a paranormal and for that, I will be reading the next in the Soulbound series. This is book six. And that is An Echo in the Sorrow, which is Queer Shadow Hunters. And I'm excited because I have this and one more in the series, and I will be done until the new one comes out that is set in this world, but with different characters. And I'm so excited. Thank you. Jim Butcher, but gay. So that'll be what I'll be reading for that prompt. For Hocus Pocus, which is to read any book, I am going to read the next in the Secrets of Scrabble series, which is book four, which is Scandal at the Salty Dog. I still hate the fact that this book came in this size. It does not match any of the others. Whatever. I'll deal. This is Mel Mel Cozy, uh, Cozy Mysteries, and I am loving this series. Next is Sally's Blood. Read a book with a paranormal setting. And for that, I will be reading Alpha's Rejection, book one in the Tales of the Tellurian Pact by Blake R. Wolf. All I know is gay werewolves. 
and I was sold. It's also super short, and I cannot wait to read this, because if I like this, I will get the rest of the series and continue on, because we all know I love me some gay werewolves, and I need more gay werewolves in my life. So, sold. Next is Black Widow, buddy reading thriller or a horror. And for this, I will be reading the Thrills and Chills group book, which is all good people here. I have no idea what this is about. Um, it's by Ashley Flowers, but I will be listening to the audiobook for that. For Gypsies, Horn is to read an author you love. And one of the authors I am well known for on this channel is TJ Clune. And I will be finishing all the books in the series. This is the last one I need to read. But I will be reading The Damning Stone by TJ Clune, which is the sixth and final book that's out so far in the Tales of Arania series. Do you believe this is going to be the final book? Because books one through four was um, Sam's, Sam and Ryan's story. And you had the short stories. And now they're all going to continue together to find Prince Justin, someone to love. This series was pitched by the author as Shrek Erotica. Enough said. Um, next is A Dead Life, Animal on the Cover, and for this, I am going to read To Hunt a Moonborn Beast, which is book one in the Lycanthrope Protection Agency by C.J. Ravenna, and this is another gay werewolf story. But this one is going to be a little bit more, I feel like it's more in the veins of Soulbound. And I'm excited because I want more gay werewolves. All the gay werewolves. Up in here, up on her. Next is Blue Moon, a contemporary with a person on the cover. And for this, I will be reading the next book in the Love and O'Leary series. And that is The Fire by May Archer, which is what I've been most excited about because this follows Jamie and Parker's explosive history. And, oh, I cannot wait. Next is Elixir of Life, which is where I'm supposed to steal a prompt from either Cabin Einstein or Cabin Bailey, and then make it work for a romance. And for this, I stole from Cabin Bailey, I stole their prompt of multiple POVs in a romance. And for that, I will be reading His First Surrender by Max Walker, which is the final book in the Stonewall Investigations Miami series, so I can bring you guys the Stonewall Investigations video that I've been wanting to do. The only ones in that video, when I get to them, I haven't read are the two Christmas books, but I only read Christmas books in December. Because that's just, it, it feels weird reading Christmas outside of December. But yes, this one will follow Sam and Rocky, and I cannot wait. Next is Sparkling with Pride and Just Read, a queer book. And for that, I will be reading Rehearse to Death by Frank Anthony Poletto. Pol this is book two in the Domestic Partners and Crime Mystery Series. This is a Mel Mel Cozy Mystery Series. Book one was renovated to death, and I absolutely loved it, even though Books of Lala did not. And I cannot wait to continue. I've been waiting for this one. I had it pre-ordered the minute I finished the other one. And just look how pretty this yellow is. I just cannot wait to get more into PJ and JP's relationship and what happens in this one. 
Next is New You, Buy Yourself a Book and Read It. I will be purchasing Cherish, which is the last book in the Crave series. And I will be reading that in June. One of the non-queer books I'll be reading in June. And lastly, we have Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. Just the group book, which I hope you guys join us on July 1st with our lives um 3 p.m eastern on mel's channel wow brain is tired where we will be interviewing ali hazelwood i know nothing about this book but i'm excited so for pegasus for pride we have no glove no love and that is to read a mel mel romance for that i will choose any of the books i haven't gotten to yet in the camp cabin chewy because any of these would work oh if you don't know what pegasus asked for pride is it'll taking place the second weekend of june where we just read smut all weekend you don't have to follow these but if you want to cool if you don't cool but also i've got so many melmel romances on my shelves and on my kindle that i could pick up for that challenge. So, enough said. Um, Lip Syncing is to read a female-female relationship book. I don't have one written down, but that doesn't mean I won't pull one for that weekend. Just depends on what I'm in the mood for. Um, to Wave Your Flag, which is to read a book with three or more colors on it. Yes, we said we would prefer you to go queer books, but because I'm queer... I'm going to read, I want to read Club 22 by Tate James, because I, uh, that ending of the last one, I need a fucking bow. Um, and Celebrate with the Community is to read a book with a sexuality other than your own, and for that, I will be reading either Broken Vow or Heavy Crown, because they are straight, and I am not by uh, Sophie Lark. Those are the next two I have to read that month. Because I'm buddy reading those with uh, a whole bunch of friends. Uh, spread the dot, 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 dot and read a book with three or more love interests in it. And I will be reading Pucking Around by Emily Roth. All I know is this is Hope's favorite book of the year. But I saw how fucking long that is, so we'll see if I get it completed. If I do not get it completed, I'm sorry, Hope. And then walk through Pride, join in some sprints, and treat yourself. I may buy a book that weekend. Who knows? So for TBR Knockout, before we get into Buddy Reads and other books that if I have time, I want to squeeze in. For TBR Knockout... Just hosted by Malik, completely Melanie. Um, the first one is just to read an LGBT book. And I will be reading Scandal at the Salty Dog by Josh Lennon. And for a book by a queer author, I chose Alpha's Rejection by Blake R. Wolf. I thought the two shortest that don't have audiobooks would be perfect for this. I can read them complete it, have a good time. Now on to some other buddy reads that I have this month. I do need to read the next in the Women's Murder Club, and that is 4th of July, which is really weird to be reading this in June, but whatever. It's where we've landed. <laughs> um, but yes, this Women's Murder Club, cannot wait to continue. Um, and I have a few others that I would like to get to. Um, after I read The Fire, if I do need to read The World, which is a short story in this, before I read The Fire. So that one will be getting read in it. And then that's the only reason why this is here. Unless I read The Note. And then I will pick up The Castle and the Light. This is just the short story collection, and I am in love with this cover. 
Um, then I have, if I decide I want to finish the Soulbound series, I may pick up A Veiled and Hollowed Eve, which is the final book in the series, and I cannot wait to see how it all wraps up. And then I also have Wit by Cora Rose and Blindsided by Becca Steele. I would love to read these. I would love to read the next in the Only James, the Mulvaney Boys series. Which I cannot think of what that series is called. Necessary Evil series. Um, if I decide to pick up anything else, I will. I'm going to have a really chill read-a-thon. The only ones that are like I have to get to are my Cabin Chewy points, which are these plus Cherish and... All good people here and love theoretically, but several of these fit for some of the prompts as well, so I can get me some additional pages. So I hope you guys love this TBR. I am excited for June and Pride Month and all the Pride festivities. May try to vlog some of the Pride festivities. We shall see. But who knows? Togetherness Bear will be joining us the whole month of June. I'm going to announce it in my revamp for my game, but I wanted to go ahead and say it here. I am going to start doing a Buddy Care Bear each month. I'm going to turn a jar or something into where I just pull one. But for June, I will be using Togetherness Bear. And then I am going to do Birthday Bear for July, because it's my birthday month. And then we'll go from there. And I will have a Care Bear in every video. So, oh my god. I'm just tired of them just sitting. Do you guys just see? They're just like all sitting up there and I do nothing with them. So I cannot wait to bring more Care Bear joy and fun to my videos. Because we all need a little love and acceptance these days. And I am just gay enough to love my Care Bears. So these are my book buddies of the month. Why not? <laughs> but I guys, I hope you like this video. If you like it, hit that thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe. Also, comment down below. Let me know, are you taking part in Camp season a -thon or Pegasaur Ass for Pride? Um, also, let me know down, down in the description if your cabin Chewy. Chewy feels awfully lonely down here because I don't know as of right now everyone's choosing Einstein or Bailey Chewie's just always alone and never has any friends and no one wants to join him and have some fun it's okay we'll just die alone it's fine <laughs> but remember guys competition it's just gonna be a gay old fun and you know what? I'm just going to enjoy reading. If we win, we win. If we don't, we don't. It's for fun. But yes. And that's all we've got for you two guys today. Together Despair just wants to say, remember kids, always be fabulously yourself. Oh boy. Oh.